Okay, so you you thinking more of a coming together yeah. and having a society where everyone kind of contributes to everybody's and business I think that's and everybody one of gets the, along. Okay, maybe that's just my perspective. Mm. But when I go to the Netherlands, when I go to the UK, I see more of that. Really? Yeah, I do. In the UK? Yeah. You see more... People coming together. Although there are... Okay, help me out. All right. <laughs> um, the UK is funny. Mm -hmm. This is how I describe the, U the difference between UK and Germany. In Germany, I think the German population has, a, has accepted black people into their homes. In the UK, they've accepted us into their workplaces. Mm -hmm. mm. In Germany, they haven't accepted you into their workplaces, but they've accepted you into their homes and, and, and yeah. they into yours. In the UK, they've accepted us into their workplaces, but, but not, not into their homes. homes. Cause I have, I've had great white friends at work. I've never been to their houses. You've never been to their houses? Never been to their houses. We go for like drinks after work mm -hmm. and all of that, but I've never been to their house. They've never been to mine. In Germany, like I have, white friends that I call like mandem, like friends that come to my house, they eat the food, everything. That's funny. But they haven't seemed to kind of embrace you guys in the workplace. Yeah, and they haven't. Yeah. That's what we're still working on. Mm. That's what we're still working on. And I think especially FOGG, let's say Adan, that's what we're trying to do to make sure that we do. Because at the end of the day, even if you invite me into your house, I still do need to eat. I still do need to feed my family. Mm. I still need to prosper. Mm -hmm. Make, mm -hmm. You know, I need to do, mm -hmm. do well in life. And in as much as we do try to be, you know, happy and one collective and cool and whatnot, at the end of the day, me and my people, we need to do we need well. To eat. Yeah, I feel you. Well, I, I've always felt like... Oh, that's an interesting perspective. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've noticed it. I've noticed mm -hmm. it. Because I've, I've worked in Berlin. I worked for a company in Berlin. I was obviously the only black person mm -hmm. there. And it felt a bit weird. They're very nice people. That's the thing. Germans, I think Germans are nicer people than English people. Um, English people are very polite. Mm -hmm. So you can't tell when they don't yeah, like I you. Know, German I know. people are very yeah. straightforward. Same as Americans. Yeah, exactly. So... I, I have an idea of how it felt like to work in a German company and it didn't feel as comfortable working in the company as, um, you know, being at my white friend's house mm -hmm. or, you know, I think there's a, there's a difference there. I can feel, I can definitely feel the difference in terms of workplace and after work, say home and stuff like that. They're very, just very nice people. But from what I can see as well, I don't think that black Germans have been accepted at the workplace mm -hmm. that much. So that's the, the bridge that needs to be crossed. And I think once, mm -hmm that bridge is crossed, you, you'll probably have a better society than we do in the UK. But the question is, how do you cross that bridge? Yeah. You just described that you have crossed that bridge. In the UK? Yeah. Workplace, yes. Why do you think so? And how did it happen? Sorry, now I'm asking questions. No, no, yeah, this is what it's about. I'm not, I'm, not here, I'm not here to just interview yeah. you. Like, let's, I'm here to literally like, share ideas and open yeah. conversation. I think one thing that's interesting is in the UK, we were lucky enough to have like the Caribbean people mm -hmm. go to the UK a long time ago and Caribbean people can fight. So they fought for all the rights and went through all the, 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 you know, the atrocities and all the racism and built it up to a certain level where we could, as Africans, could just come in and plug into the, the system. I'm not saying Africans didn't do that. Some Africans did, but it was more Caribbeans at, um, earlier on. Um, so when we came into the system, you know Ghanaians where kind of slow already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we came into the system. Nigerians are very hot-headed. There's a lot of Nigerians in, 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 in London, well, in the UK. Nigerians are also very kind of business-minded. Yeah. So things moved forward. And they yeah. do bring something to the table as well. Exactly. And they demand to get demand. their fair share of it. Yeah, we, there was a yeah. fight that that's happened. That the I don't do. think that's happened here because yeah. unfortunately for Germany, mm -hmm. I think, I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm no, no, no. wrong. Sure. Well, Unfortunately for Germany, I think there was more Ghanaians that started to come here. Yeah. And Ghanaians yeah. don't fight for nothing. We, we are don't. comfortable. We don't. Even in, in, I think that most of the Ghanaians coming to Germany are in Hamburg. Mm. So most of the Ghanaians that you do see in Germany are around this place. Mm. And then you have, I think, Angolans around yeah. the Munich area. And then the people from Eritrea around Frankfurt and where not. Mm. And yeah. yeah, we don't, we, we are humble. Yeah. 
we're happy that you're inviting us you're in. You're for India. You don't fight for nothing. So I think that was, it's now that obviously the younger people are beginning to see that, you know, we have to fight for something. So th there's a little bit more fight. But I think uh, the, your, the Ghanaian parents yeah, didn't fight for anything. <laughs> so I think that's, that's the reason why the UK, we've been able to move um, kind of quicker in the workplace because we had to fight. And the fight has been going on for a very long time. But the, the part that I'm also interested in is sort of like the business side of things in terms of black businesses and how black businesses are doing in Germany and the support that other black people give to black businesses and stuff like that. How, how does that look like? In your um, before I answer that question, I want to share something on the first question that you asked. Mm -hmm. You just mentioned that in the UK, you had Caribbeans, you had the Nigerian people who mm -hmm. are um, really fighting the fight yeah. and making sure that everyone else is comfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now answering your question, we are now the first, or we had, I think around six or seven years ago, mm -hmm. where I first saw black people starting mm -hmm. businesses, you know, really diving into entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. So we do have that mainstream somehow now, mm -hmm. where people are bold enough to, you know, give their own ideas a mm -hmm. try, mm -hmm. and not just thinking about it, oh, I'm an artist and I'm just, you know, mm -hmm. I'm just continuing my artistry, but mm -hmm. I'm really understanding the industry. Um, so the question was, how we're doing business-wise. Mm. And I think that we are now getting an understanding on what business really means. Mm. Okay. We have In what really, sense? The understanding of what business yeah. really means is actually not just having talent, mm. projects, ideas, mm. but understanding industries, mm -hmm. understanding negotiation, mm -hmm. understanding how to frame your, your ideas into mm -hmm. solving issues, mm -hmm. not just or sitting at tables with people and mm. trying to negotiate mm -hmm. financing and whatnot. Mm. Yeah. We haven't done that. Mm. I know when I started Ashes and Soil, I, I was I was just a creative that wanted to mm. do something cool. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to come up with something that the world hasn't seen. Yeah. But I didn't really understand what it means to not just have a project or an idea, mm. but really build a business. Mm. And we do see a few people now from Nana Edison, for instance, mm. and a few other ones around that but we don't really understand the business side of it, I believe. Mm. Okay. Or we're starting to understand it. Starting to it. understand it.